and right. I kind of was like, what is she on there for? But yeah, that was a huge story. Because <laughs> I was doing the same thing, and I was yeah. like, I thought I felt it felt stupid for a minute. I'm like, oh, duh. Me it was too. The big but she we, was. Yeah. She was a precursor. She was one of the early before it just blew up into this this person, this person, where right. everybody really felt comfortable speaking out. And I think that's been the most positive thing about this movement and why I think this was a great choice for Person of the Year. It really has brought everybody together, women and men alike. Men are featured in this article as well. Speaking out against this and because UK people grad, have been so afraid. Yeah, Ashley Judd, UK grad, uh, you know, one of the oh, first yeah. people to speak out about this with the Harvey Weinstein case. Yeah, and uh, she's going to be featured uh, on an interview with uh, Hey Kentucky. Oh my gosh, yeah, so that's very, very. I mean, up. just crazy timing. They'd already scheduled to have her interview today on the show, and then here she is on time, and it's just a big cultural change. It really is. I mean, you it know? is a movement and folks, it ain't going away. Mm -mm. You know, you think, oh, they're going to talk about this for a couple, three weeks. Yeah. And the next thing you know, I mean, it just keeps getting legs. You mm -hmm. know, more and more people come forward. Yeah. I think it's, it's going to be a long time yeah. before we stop talking about this. Yeah. Maybe never. I think so. this is, was a great option. Great yeah. choice for them to award for person of the year. Okay, how about a beer with that next pizza you order? Mm. I like this. Mm -hmm. Pizza Hut is about to start testing beer and wine deliveries in some U.S. cities, beginning in Phoenix, Arizona. Starting off, they'll offer six packs of Anheuser-Busch brands like Bud Light and Shock Top, along with a local Arizona brewery. <laughs> Which I've never even heard of Shock, uh, Shock Talk. Shock by Talk. The way. Shock <laughs> Talk, whatever it's called. <laughs> uh, all options are going to, can you tell I'm not a big beer connoisseur? I am shocked. Uh, all options will cost a flat $10.99. This is interesting. Wine delivery is also going to roll out in Phoenix in January. I just cannot think of wine being good with pizza. It is but kind I of odd, guess, you yeah. know, but hey, your and drink of choice. Just so you know, all delivery drivers must be 21. Customers must show their IDs at the door. And, I mean, if you think about it, no. Pizza Hut has not been doing as well as yeah. Papa John's and Domino's. And this is kind yeah. of a good competitive thing for them. Although you kind of wonder if Papa John's and Domino's are going to jump on the bandwagon yeah. and, and try to do this, too. But at least for now, it's just Pizza Hut. Well, and I like this because I, and I hate to say this, I love Pizza Hut pizza. Love but I always think of them as an eat-in mm -hmm. restaurant. And I never think the of them image. for delivery. That's what they're trying to kick. Yeah. That's been their image for yeah. so long, and that's been one of the problems that, mm -hmm. that Yum Brands has been trying to kick with them is to get away from that image that, yeah. hey, you can have Pizza Hut delivered yeah. just like you can Papa John's, Domino's, or any of the others. Because I love Pizza Hut, so, and I just need to good. remember they those, do deliver. I don't know what it is about those personal pan pizzas there. Oh, man, when but I was a those kid. Those are like the best. I felt oh. so accomplished. I think we had like a reading program when I was in school, and if you read a certain number of books. It was like an initiative we had with Pizza Hut. And mm -hmm. if you read a certain number of books and your teacher marked it off, you got to go in and get a free pizza. And that how much like, weight did you gain that year? I had, my metabolism was <laughs> off the charts when I was, I didn't know what a calorie was. See, All those blessed never days. Never gain a pound. See, I'd be like, mm, slowly <laughs> but surely. Uh, hey, this is kind of interesting. Yeah. Did you know that texting just turned 25 years old. That's crazy. How is, is that possible? It passed the milestone over the weekend. Text messaging now officially a quarter of a century old. The first ever text message was sent back on December 3rd, 1992. What? A British engineer sent the first ever text from his computer to a cell phone. That is wild. You just kind of wonder... You know, did he realize at the time how big this this would take off? I can't see how he did, but I mean, think now how ingrained it is oh, in yeah. our society and our day-to-day -day lives. I don't go a single day where I don't send dozens of text messages. It's like the preferred way of communication. And now. I just read an article today back in 2007. Uh, yeah. The average American was sending about 35 texts a month, which yeah. back then was a lot of text. Oh, yeah. And now it's kind of laughable because, yeah. you know, we send so many texts back and forth. And I'll never yeah. forget, I, it was like the late 90s or early 2000s. I just remember I, I didn't know what a text message was. Yeah, because it, it took a while to catch on oh. to become like a big thing. Yeah, a friend of mine had and mentioned. become affordable. That's another thing yeah. because it started charging you by the text, text or something. Yeah. yeah, but a friend of yeah. mine had told me, I sent, you know, we were talking on the phone and and he was telling me something that I was supposed to know. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, I sent you a text about it. I'm like, what's a text? Yeah. Oh, you did. You actually <laughs> had to say, what's a text? Yes, because I had no idea. I mean, this was late 90s, early 2000. Yeah. And, of course, now, obviously, we all know what a text message yeah. is. But back then, it was just kind of coming into society. And you know? It's funny how, you know, cell phone plans and, and you know, patterns change. I can remember when I was in high school, one of my friends got in trouble because she went over her 1200 a month oh text my plan. Oh gosh. I see I, I mean, could, I could I go imagine. over I go over every month now. Oh, I if know. you still had to 
chart it's how so many texts you get do. and only have a certain limit. And so many people, they just have the cell phone. Now, yeah. So that's all they use. Gosh. Happy texting. Uh, yes. Happy emoji use as Enjoy well. Enjoy it very much. Yes. yes. Okay, life really does come full circle, does it not? A Maryland firefighter delivered a woman's baby in an ambulance this week. But get this, he himself was born in an ambulance and... It was his birthday. How crazy is that? What are the odds? Daniel Helsel and his team got a call Monday to help a woman in labor. Mom couldn't wait and gave birth right then and there. Mom and her brand new baby girl are doing just fine. I mean, there are just some things that are meant to that be. That was meant to be. And this was just one of those things that Sweet it was just meant to happen. Sweet little baby. What I mean, you know, story. they're probably going to be friends from here on oh, out. Oh, of course. All those coincidences start drop in together. Out. He'll start, you know. Get to know the baby when, as the baby grows up. Double birthday party. Exactly. Yes. Double birthday. <laughs> hey, a great story from Alabama, too. This is very funny. I love this. Oh, one Alabama college student is paying the price for underestimating the Christmas spirit of her Twitter followers. Kelsey Hall goes to the University of Alabama. She posted this photo of herself earlier this week, looking miserable in a Christmas tree costume <laughs> sent to her by her mother. Thanks, Mom. With it, she said, I will wear this for the rest of the semester if I get a thousand retweets. Which is nothing now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's nothing. But but here's the thing, though. She only had 300 followers, yeah. so naturally she didn't really think it would go anywhere. Well, see... These days, forget about it. She was wrong. The post exploded, got nearly 24,000 retweets. 24,000. Kelsey is holding up her end of the bargain, though. She told People Magazine that she just hopes it brings Christmas cheer to her classmates. She's been posting updates like of her walking around campus with it on. And I saw on Twitter other people, she's super popular <laughs> on campus now because everybody what? knows her as the Christmas tree girl. Other people, when they see her, they're wanting selfies with her and their pictures made with her. <laughs> I mean, that's just... Look at that picture. That is just poor thing. That is so And she funny. was she's clearly like me because, you know, I'm not big on social media. Right. You yeah. know, I do the occasional tweets. And, yeah. the, and, of course, Lee, Haley, and Tom, they're constantly doing it. <laughs> I'm just not that big. And so she's probably like me thinking, oh, you know, well, that's probably I mean, not going to be that big. She's just a regular and, girl. You know, she had only 300 followers and thought, you know, my friends gonna, might retweet me. All It all has to happen these days is one person pick it up. Yeah. Send it in, like to Reddit or one of those, yeah. and it just explodes. I love it. I so. love it so much, and I'm glad that she played along and you know really did it. Right. But, you know, that's I awesome. I mean, she really is sticking with what she said she would do. Yeah. So you got to give her credit for that. Spreading Christmas cheer down in Bama. Okay, everybody, those are today's hot topics. And stay with us. We are digging into some delicious holiday treats a little bit later on. Uh, oh yeah, we are. We pay a visit to Lexington's Metropolitan Donuts. If you've never been, we're going to give you a sneak peek of what they have to offer. So good. That's next year on the show.